Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on pie chart and a table. It says that Bloomy is an electronics company operating out of six showrooms. Okay. It deals in five varieties of goods, mobiles, tablets, laptops, smartwatches, and speakers. And this table gives the sales by showroom and this pie chart gives the category wise breakup of sales of Bloomy products. Okay. So uh, like since this is the exclusive thing, right? There are six showrooms. So we will find the total sales. So just adding this 7695, 126, 126 plus 174. Total is 300 crores. So 300 crores is the sale. So we know the total of this pie chart is also 300 crores. So we can find the sales of individual items. So this will be 90, this will be 81, 27% of 300, 30. 48 and 51 okay so this thing we can determine before we move on to the questions okay now let us look at the questions so the first question says if s1 s3 and s5 are the only showrooms dealing in mobiles and exactly two of the three dealt only in mobiles what approximate percentage of sales incurred by the other showroom is accounted for uh, by products not in mobiles category so what it says is s1 s3 and s5 are the only showrooms that deal in mobiles okay s1 s3 and s5 they deal only in mobiles uh, i mean these are the only showrooms that deal in mobiles so mobiles cannot be sold in other showrooms now total mobile sale is 81 crores okay the next part says exactly two dealt only in mobiles okay now uh, total sale is uh, 81 crores and two of these deal only in mobiles they do not sell any other thing okay so this obviously will have to sell other things also because s5 has total sale of 102 crores which is greater than 81 so it, ca it cannot sell only mobiles so that means s1 and s3 they sell only mobiles Okay, so only S1 sells 27 crore, S3 sells 19 crore. So total is 46 crores. Now, mobile sale is 81 crores. Okay, so in S5, S5, the sale of mobile is 102. Uh, sorry, 40. Uh, this is total is 81. 81 minus 46, that is 35 crores. Right, so 35 crores is uh, the sale of mobile phones and in S5, the question asks what is non-mobiles not in mobiles category, right? So non-mobile is will be 67 crores, 102 minus 35, 67 crores. So it is asking 67 is what percent of 102? So it is 66%, roughly 66%, okay? All right. Next question says, if it is known that two particular categories of Bloomy electronic goods are sold in exactly four of the six showrooms and in those four showrooms, no other category of products are sold, which of the following must be one of those two particular categories? Okay. Now it says that there are two categories out of these five, which are sold in just four showrooms. Okay. And in those four showrooms, nothing else is sold. So basically, we have to find two such numbers whose sum, right, out of these five numbers, two numbers should be that, such that their total will be the total of four numbers out of this. Okay. Now, there can be multiple combinations in this, uh, like out of six, we have to add four numbers. Okay. Now, how to strategically find those four numbers? See one thing, the total is 300 crores and all these are integers. So the sum of any two products will be a multiple of three. Isn't it? If we add any two numbers, the total will be a multiple of three. So this total of four numbers should also be a multiple of three. Okay. Total is a multiple of three. Uh, four like we are adding four so we are taking let us say uh, any four numbers that total is multiple of three now total six is also multiple of 
uh, 3 that is 300 crores so the one that you are like what you are the including the 4 that is a multiple of 3 so excluding the two showrooms that you are excluding that should also be a multiple of 3 okay that should also be a multiple of 3 so let us try to find out what are the uh, see this is giving a remainder of 1 this is also giving a remainder of 1 this is uh, giving a remainder of 1 so if we add any two of these we will not get a multiple of 3 if we add these with this thing we will not get a multiple of 3 okay so basically the two showrooms that we exclude should both be multiples of 3 okay so if we try to add like this like 27 19 we do not get a multiple of 3 Ah, uh, twenty-seven, thirty-one, right? Forty-nine, thirty-one. We will not get a multiple of three. So those two can be twenty-seven and hundred and two. So total is three hundred. Okay, we are excluding twenty-seven and hundred and two. So the remaining will be. So this will be one seventy-one. If we exclude twenty-seven and seventy-two, the total will be two hundred one. Okay, and if we exclude hundred and two and seventy-two, the total will be one twenty-six. Okay, so we get three possibilities in which the total comes out as multiple of three. Okay, now the next thing is to find out two such products that add to any of these numbers. Can we get one seventy-one? Yes, ninety plus eighty-one gives us one seventy-one. This is possible. Okay. Can we get two hundred one? If you see the maximum values, that is one seventy-one. So two hundred and one is not possible as the sum of uh, any two products. One twenty-six. Let us see ninety plus thirty one twenty one twenty-nine one thirty-two. We cannot get one twenty-six also. Okay. So there is only one possibility that will fit into this case that. Uh, this is laptop and mobile so laptop plus mobiles are sold in four showrooms and we have to exclude 27 and 102 okay so that means they are sold in s1 s3 s4 and s6 so that is what is meant by this question okay so it says that there are two products two particular categories that is laptops and mobiles are sold in exactly four things right so s2 s3 s4 and s6 and no other thing is sold so laptop plus mobile is 171 if you add this we get 171 right so nothing else can be sold in these four showrooms so the question is which of the following must be one of those two particular categories so those two categories are laptops and mobiles among the options we are given laptops so that will be the answer next question says considering the information provided in question 2 that means this question which of the following are not amongst the four showrooms so these four showrooms are s2 s3 s4 s6 okay so s1 is not among those showrooms next question what is the maximum possible number of categories which can be sold equally across the six showrooms okay so we have to equally distribute these uh, in the six showrooms okay and we have to find how many maximum items can be sell so let us start with the first uh, the smallest value so that we can accommodate maximum number of categories right so the lowest uh, sale is of smart watches so smart watches cost the total sale is 30 crores so if we distribute like five uh, like divide by six we can sell five five crores in each in each of the six showrooms we can sell 55 crores okay then next we will go with this the second smallest number that is 48 so we can sell in each showroom 8888 crores okay next smallest is 51 so 51 if we divide by 6 we will get 8.5 crores why we are starting with smallest value because we have to accommodate maximum number of such products okay so we have to find the maximum possible number of categories now if we add the total sale till here we get 21.5 right now s3 is 19 crores 
right so this sale is exceeding this which is not possible okay because uh, if they are sold equally the uh, the total sale is only 19 crore how can it exceed 19 crore so we cannot add the third category we can have two categories like we can have these two also because total will be 16.5 we can have these two also the total will be 30 and we can also have these two categories because the total will come as 13.5 but we cannot add the third category so we can easily add up to two categories any of these two okay and not the third category so the answer will come as two so we can have only two categories which can be equally sold we can also have like uh, 81 divided by uh, 6 is 13.5 and we can also have this right we can also have mobiles and uh, smart watches also that will also fit but we cannot insert the third category so maximum only two categories can be sold equally across the six showrooms okay so that is uh, the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you enjoyed solving this set so please like this video